you don't have time to find a passion. You need to find money to take care of those bills, right? What is passion when your electricity is turned off? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denayo, and today we are talking all about following your passion, getting a good job, creating a career. Kinda. <laughs> we're talking about the book, so good they can't ignore you. The author of the book is Cal Newport. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is motivation, business, self-development. All right. So I have heard a lot about this book and I was like, you know what? I need to pick it up. I need to read it. And it's good. It's very, very good. Okay. So let me tell you this. The tagline of the book why skills trump passion in the quest for work you love. So I really was expecting this book to be, if you become so good, you have to get promoted, you gotta move up, you have to, it'll, that's just gonna happen. You're so good, they cannot ignore you. That is not what this book is about, okay? So I gotta say that off jump, because if you see this book on the shelf and you're like, yes, how can I be so good they can't ignore me? You will be surprised. This is not a motivational, inspirational, rah-rah, confidence-boosting book. Cal Newport wanted to defunct all of the theories of people saying, just find your passion, just go after what you love, just do the things you love. He was like, I think there's more to it. The more to it turns out to be something that you have done repeatedly and become very proficient with and become an expert in ends up being something that you're passionate about because you've spent so much time in it, you've done it so much. Now you're just, it's a second nature to you, right? So let's get into my favorite quote from the book and it is on page 154 and it says this, hardness scares off the daydreamers and the timid, leaving the opportunity for those like us who are willing to take the time to carefully work out the best path forward and then confidently take action. Timid, out of the way. Daydreamer, bye-bye. Get out of the way so that the people who are going to confidently lay out the best path and take action can go and do it, <laughs> okay? What does it mean to confidently move forward and what does it mean to set the best path, okay? Confidently moving forward means you don't know everything, but you're still gonna take the first step. The first step is often the hardest. I never imagine myself doing YouTube videos. I never imagine myself being a business owner. I never imagine myself as a podcaster. But when you can see something, decide that it's interesting and take that step forward, confidently go forward, that is huge. And it builds so much confidence with yourself to say, you can do this, you can do it. Your skills can improve, you can learn more, your skills will carry you on. And then you keep going, right? But we don't just blindly step out. You have to set the best path. And that's why I really love this quote. Lastly here, I wanna say, I, I've had conversations with my parents where I'm just like, how did you guys get to where you are now? In terms of like, did you find the job that you really enjoyed and you just stuck with it or did you do? And so of course they say things like, well, the world wasn't as expensive as it is now and blah, 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 blah. But mostly, no, we found a job, we stayed at that job while it paid for our bills. And Cal Newport talks about that a lot too, right? He talks about how you have to have money, you have to have career capital in order to make certain moves, in order to go out and find that thing that you really want to do. Without money, if you have people heckling you and bill collectors calling and your house gets repossessed and all this stuff, you don't have time to find a passion. You need to find money to take care of those bills, right? What is passion when your electricity is turned off? What is it, okay? So he talks about how you have to have some things in place which are having money to take care of things, having your life put together in a way that you are then able to dream. You are then able to spend time and imagine what you wanna do. You are able to find the things that really will sustain you intellectually and emotionally for the rest of your life. And then you can find a career. A job is something that pays your bills. A career is something that can sustain you. And so Cal talks a lot about how those two things are very, very different. And so tying into me being a business owner, career capital is can be picked up in all kinds of ways. Career capital is the thing that will let you flex at work. Skills trump passion. And the beautiful thing about that is that you can be skilled in anything. 
What if you were skilled in just watching YouTube videos and writing reviews about them? What if you were skilled in reading books and then filming them for YouTube? What are you skilled in, okay? And so this book is one that I would not read again, but I really did enjoy it. And if you enjoy learning more about what is up with us working, why it is such a big deal, I just wanna take, I just wanna, I just wanna lay on the couch and eat cookies, but I have to have money to have the couch and the house over me and the cookies. <laughs> and work will get me there, but also work won't love you 